everyone, and welcome to tonight's discussion on, well, really what I'm doing is I'm exposing where we're at in the election campaign to let you know that these people are mentally ill and have no care for you as citizens of the United States. And I really actually recommend that you write these things down and see if you can, you know, read, you don't have to read them over and study them, but casually read them and see if someone, if something doesn't sit well in your intuition, you might want to take a look at what I'm telling you in this video to know that that is why that you're experiencing that weird feeling of intuition to expose their out of integrity, which is actually a hindrance to your existence. So some of the concerns would be, well, really we're looking at, well, I'm really bringing in an awareness of body language, voice, speaking at a microphone, uh, talking to large groups, and first I want to speak to what a crutch would look like. So a crutch is using music. So a it'd be interesting to, it's interesting really to take a look at the both, both of the candidates, uh, the crutch of Beyonce versus the crutch of the YMCA. And then imagine if Donald Trump walked on set, on stage, without any music. And what would that be like if Kamala Harris did it? And you want to know that this isn't just about the campaigning. This is also about influencers and how they're using a crutch of music behind their words to hypnotize you into doing what they ask you to, feeling the way they want you to feel. And it's completely unethical and completely illegal. So when you meditate, you don't use music. It's You're sitting quietly. So anyone who teaches you to use music is not a meditator. They're a psych psychotic. The next thing we want to take a look at as a crutch would be seduction. So that is any woman on the platform who is literally using seduction to fuel their platform. It could be a language. It could be a body. It could be a bathing suit. It could be a photograph session. It could be a sound. It could be whatever it is. If you feel aroused, they are hiding something. And if you're fully present and aware of who you are as a person, you'll immediately note that it's seduction. And they'll try the tactics of music. You'll be very present in the moment to who they actually are. And then you'll be able to combat that of which doesn't work in the room. So what is it about Kamala Harris that represents seduction? That would be what she did at FEMA today where she went back to the microphone and told you all about how grateful she was and how thankful. That's seduction. Donald Trump doesn't really have seduction. His is more charisma. Excessive fraternizing with your with your students or with your followers. Everything about Kamala Harris is that. So she always goes to the low man on the what would be considered the low man on the totem pole and avoids the important people that make the big decisions because she's insecure. So what you're watching is the government is being weakened by a specific individual who is not prepared, who is sadistic, who is a liberal, and who's using Hollywood to use those folks to drive you in the direction of how she wants you to feel so she can lift you up and you can be happy. But that's not her job because underneath all of that, there's a homeless population that is suffering The next thing we want to notice as a crutch would be personality-driven teaching. That would definitely be the aspirations and the dream-making and all those nasty conversations around personal feelings. I think, I, we, you're, you're you and I'm me, and you're in control, and there is no think, there's just do. So she's being, she wants everybody to be, but she doesn't do. So she doesn't have. So she tried to take the scenario of a, a sentence that she learned in a specific organized educational group where she failed at the class, just like she failed in law school. 
And she rearranged things to not doing or having and created a, a nostalgia in her mind of being. Then nothing gets accomplished and no, nothing gets done. And so there is no do and have. There's just be, which means that the world is in complete chaos, which is what you're watching at a rally or a Tim Walls who weirdly goes somewhere and holds a cat that did not like him, by the way. The other thing people do, and this is definitely not something that Kamala Harris does generally, although she will read off of a script, is overdoing technical knowledge. That would be somebody who doesn't listen to what the audience is experiencing and just revert, regurgitating their knowledge in their brain. I mean, maybe you've seen it with Kamala Harris. I'm not really sure. I mean, the technical information could be the dream talking. It could be the aspirations and the dreamers. That's bullshit. That's all bullshit. Another crutch would be uh, book knowledge. She lied about wanting to have dinner with Thurgood Marshall. A name dropper, same thing. Uh, being a cheerleader. Thank you. Thank you. Great job, everybody. Great job. We need joy and happiness. That is literally a crutch. Everything I've listed so far is definitely the campaign. This is definitely the campaign of Kamala Harris, is it not? <sighs> Practicing in the class. So she's not a prepared leader. She's doing work that she should already be accomplished in. That's for all influencers, by the way. If you've got 435,000 followers, you better have something to fucking say. You better be brave enough to stand up against 435,000 people. We don't want to hear joy and happiness. We don't want to hear that you're sweet. And we sure as fuck don't want to watch you in the dark holding hands. Talking too much as a teacher. See, these people can't stay in silence. It's uncomfortable for them because they're hiding shit. And so everything out their mouth is a constant conversation where they can't be quiet. So they don't listen. They're not quiet. And all they do is yap, which is their crutch, which is usually a repetitive talk, a repetitive, continuous conversation of the same shit they talked about the last time they were on live. The other thing that I wanted to bring into awareness is I hope, hold on, I'm going to go through these quick because we only have two minutes. You don't see your audience. You don't deliver the technical basics or correcting behaviors. You're not understanding that the overall presentation of yourself depends on who you are and how you're present in the room. That you don't recognize the good in your people, you just... Pretend like you are talking to thin air, which is what all of Democrats do. You're too personally driven. And being a leader in government is not about you. It's about the people. And you're faking it. And you can't fake it till you make it. Um, being on autopilot, which is everything Kamala represents. And then she's trying to reinvent the wheel. She's not herself. And she doesn't remember that she's creating, but she doesn't understand that that doesn't mean reinvent the wheel. And she doesn't allow experience in her audience to, to happen and exist. She tells you how to act and behave. And she takes everything personally. And that's really important when you're a leader and you're speaking to a group of people. And all Democrats use these crutches because they're not actual leaders. They're terrible. They're horror shows and they all represent influencers and Hollywood as well because they all work off scripts and chat GTP. So that clean eating dinner the other night that Mona Van was parading herself around in used everything that I just said and destroyed her career. Oh wait, that happened a long time ago. 
What career?